All right, so um, since I have 1,347.59, um, that 5 is going to bump that 7 to an 8. And the reason I'm rounding to the nearest whole number is because we are talking about um, insects. Is it insects, if I remember correctly? Um, cicadas, yes. So um, 1,348. Which is approximately equal to 1,348. All right, let's go to our last question. It says, suppose a ball is thrown upward from a 100 foot building at an initial velocity of 25 feet per second. That should be per second squared. Um, write an initial, I'm um, sorry, write an equation for the um, height h above the ground. Um, of the ball after t seconds. All right, so um, we're going to be using the formula negative one half gt squared plus initial velocity times t plus initial height. So since it's thrown upward from a hundred foot building, that is my initial height. So that's my h sub zero. Initial velocity is 25 feet per second squared. So that's my v sub zero. And um, my g because um, it's in feet is going to be 32 feet per second squared. So I've got everything that I need. T is my unknown in my equation. And I have H equals negative one half times 32. That's my G. T squared plus my initial velocity, which is 25 T plus my initial height, which is 100. The only change I'm going to make here is this negative 1 half times 32. I'm going to go ahead and erase. I know um, negative 1 half times 32 is going to give me negative 16. So that is my equation um, for my height. Then it asks me to predict the height of the ball after 2 and a half seconds. So since I have two and a half seconds, that's going to be t equals 2.5. So h equals negative 16 times 2.5 squared plus 25 times 2.5 plus 100. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my calculator. All right, notice I put the 2.5 in. I substituted that in. Uh, let's see what we get. We get 62.5, so I'm going to write down 62.5 feet. So h equals 62.5 feet. Okay. At what time will the ball hit the ground? So whenever they ask about hitting the ground, that's like the x-axis. That's the same thing as the x-intercepts, zeros, solutions, all means the same thing. All right, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this equation into y equals, and I'm going to look for where it hits the x-axis. I could use quadratic formula if I preferred, but I'm going to go ahead and use my graph. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my quadratic into um, y equals, and my window is set from my earlier problem I don't know if this is going to be a good window, but I'm just going to hit graph and see how I need to adjust it if I need to adjust it. Okay, well, this actually isn't a bad window. What I have to realize is that these are my two x-intercepts. This is where the ball hits the ground. But in this problem, the only part of the graph that's the actual real-world problem is right here where I release the ball, it goes up, and it hits the ground. So really just from right here to right there is the whole um, problem. So I don't need to find this zero. There's no need for me to. So it starts right here, it goes up, it comes down. This is the only zero that I need to find. So I'm gonna go to second and trace. I'm gonna choose zero. And I gotta find my spider. I don't see him right now. He's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. 
Okay, so right now I am um, to the left and above, because this is the zero I'm looking for. I'm to the left and above, so I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to move to the right. And I can tell that I'm already below because that y value is negative. So I am already to the right and below. I could move again. I probably won't be able to see it on the screen, and I can't. just means it's way down here, and that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I don't need to worry about the guess, and there we go. Um, at 3.4. Okay, so I can put that at 3.4 seconds. That's when the ball will hit the ground.